filming during a pandemic about a pandemic that happened in, in the Hawaiian Islands. And I think that was, um, uh, I think, critical of the timing of, of trying to keep this film relevant. My name is Jason Scott Lee, and you can see me in The Wind and the Reckoning. And I play the character of Kolaupai. Kolau knows this land. I wouldn't underestimate it. The storyline with the leprosy had kind of like a connection to COVID, um, you know, kind of being related in that sense. Uh, why do you think that was important to showcase now in 2023, uh, that history of that time? I think that the producers and the director, the filmmakers, they all felt that the, the timing was perfect. Filming during a pandemic, about a pandemic that happened in, in the Hawaiian Islands. And I think that was, um, uh, I think, critical of the timing of, of trying to keep this film relevant, even though it is a period piece. Keeping it relevant in that way, I think people can relate to how the experience of going through COVID and the experience of separation and the experience of isolation, also the experience of government overreach that happened in many different places. You've been in this industry, industry for so long. I mean, I'm a big fan of like Bruce Lee's story. How does it make you feel now seeing all this stuff like, you know, Michelle Yeoh at the Oscars, specifically for like Pacific Islanders coming out? Like, how does that make you feel? Uh, it's so awesome. I mean, I, I, I always love that the younger generation that, that are in the business now having that opportunity. If you have the look and, um, you know, play anything. You know, I have a, a good buddy of mine is a Maori actor. He plays everything from like Middle Eastern to, to Mexican to uh, any type of Latino. Um, and he'll go across the board. That to me is like, it shows your range. It shows, you know, and I'm speaking to actors. Um, it shows the range and it shows your breadth of talent. I think, you know, a lot of times uh, being of an ethnic minority or something, you say, well, in your mind, you only can play one thing. Let's just be open to like there's so many different opportunities and, and look for those opportunities. Um, build or build those up, create them. Playing a native Hawaiian, getting to speak the language as well, like being authentic to the history. Like, what was that for you like? At first, it was scary, uh, completely daunting. It's like well, I always mention in my interviews, like uh, uh, what a huge task it was to go back and, and try to learn the heart language, the, the indigenous language, uh, Olelo Hawaii. I didn't think about it in my 20s, you know, back then. You don't think about like busting down doors or, or breaking stereotypes. And I mean, I, I didn't for myself. For me, the acting was was, a, in, was kind of a uh, exploration internally to get to get out of myself, to, to, you know, get out of my shyness, to get out of my shell that I was in. And acting was a way, almost a therapy, to help me break out of that, that shell. That's what I mean by personal reasons that become kind of a part of your living and breathing self. You know, I grew up where a lot of the Asian men um, or, or multiple race um, ethnic groups here in Hawaii, uh, they were always, to me, incredibly strong and just, just virile and just like, so it's like, it's like I grew up in that, like my father was, was, was that, and and my my uncles were were, were were like head of the vice squad. I mean, tough, tough guys who were you know just built and 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 strong and and so I I, I never really got that as far as what the media was, but when they started saying that, I went like, yeah, it's it's true. I said there isn't that image uh, since Bruce Lee. 